Welcome everyone. Um, today we'll be talking about not linear sequences, okay? And in the last topic we were uh, we've met linear sequence. So what's linear sequence? Linear sequ sequence is when we have um, numbers and they have the same uh, difference, okay? So let's say we have 6, 10, 14 and 18. So uh, the difference is plus 4, plus 4, plus 4. And this is rule for a linear sequence. We have common difference, what is plus 4 in this case, and it's always the same. Every single time is the same. Okay. What if the common difference is different every single time? So let's look at another example. Let's make it smaller a little bit. Okay, let's say we have numbers 3, 5, 9, 15. Okay, let's check the difference. So in here we have plus 2. In here we have plus 4. In here plus 6. Okay, so as you can notice, the difference is different every single time, okay? It's not the same. And this is the first difference. Okay, let's look at the second difference, okay? So what's the difference between 2 and 4? And the difference is plus 2. What's the difference between 4 and 6? It's also plus 2, okay? So as you can see, the second difference is the same. Okay, and when the second difference is the same, we um, are talking about quadratic uh, sequences. Okay, this type is quadratic sequences. Okay, so now we know um, what's the first and second difference, but how to find out the next um, few terms, the next few numbers, okay? So we need to use uh, this key information that the second difference is constant, it's the same every single time. So we need to add 2 to the first difference and then we have plus 8 and then 15 plus 8 is 23. Okay, when we want to find the next term we need to add to the first difference and then we have plus 10 and then 20, 23 plus 10 is 33. Okay. Okay, and now we have example number one. Find the second difference of a four quadratic sequence. So we know already this is a quadratic sequence, okay, for seven, thirteen and twenty-two. And we just need to find the second difference. So we need to start off with first difference. Okay, so uh what's the difference between four and seven? That's plus three. Between seven and thirteen, that's plus six. And 13, 22, it's plus 9, okay? Now, let's find the second difference. So, the difference between 3 and 6, plus 3. 3 and 9, plus 3. So, the second difference is uh, 3. Okay. If we were asked to find the next term, we can simply add 3 to the first difference. So 9 plus 3 is 12. And then 22 plus 12, 34. Okay? So take it down into your copy, please. There is also another, ty another type of uh, patterns, what is exponential pattern, okay? So let's look at example first. So we have um, 5, 10, 20, 40, okay? So now look at the first difference. 
what is plus 5 then plus 10 then plus 20 okay so for sure that's not a linear pattern look at the next difference so we have 5 and then we have 10 what did you do we need to multiply it by 10 from 10 to 20 we need to multiply it by 10 so every single time um, the pattern in that involves doubling or tripling that's exponential pattern okay when we multiply it twice three times four times that's exponential pattern okay the second difference it's not the same okay uh, we just multiply it every single time so in here we added 5 and here we added 10 okay so the first difference is the, is not the same the second difference is not constant but it's doubling every single time okay and then that's exponential pattern okay so we have example number two and for each sequence we need to identify the type and we need to find the next three terms okay so first of all look at the sequence we have eight six six eight hmm. first step find the first difference okay so the first difference is minus two zero and plus two okay so for sure it's not a linear sequence okay the first difference is uh, different every single time okay so let's find the next difference then the second difference difference between minus 2 and 0 is plus 2 and difference between 0 and 2 is plus 2 okay grand so the second difference is the same it's constant so this is the quadratic sequence okay if we know what type is it and we know the difference we can now uh, find the next three terms so we need to add 2 and add 2 okay so we have 2 plus 2 is 4 and 8 plus 4 is 12 and then 4 plus 2 is 6 12 plus 6 18 and one more term plus 2 so 6 plus 2 is 8 and 18 plus 8 is 26 okay let's try another one okay so this is the next one so let's try the first difference uh, one two four okay so stay away that's not a linear sequence let's try the next the second difference so one two not the same uh, so that's not a quadratic sequence as well S let's uh, look at the differences okay so we have one and two so we just need to multiply by two then two to four multiply by two okay so that's uh, the last type we've met today exponential sequence okay so now we can find the next three terms so we need to multiply it by two what is eight and 8 plus 8 is 16 and then again multiply it by 2 16 add 16 32 and then multiply it by 2 what is 32 and add 32 64 okay okay so quick summary there are three types of uh, patterns so we have linear quadratic and exponential and linear has the first different difference is the same it's constant every single time okay quadratics uh, the second difference is constant and exponential uh, involves doubling tripling and so on okay and for the learning check you have three sentences in here okay and you need to um, be able to say which type is it okay so we need to find the first and second uh, difference to be able to do it and then find the next three terms okay so see you tomorrow